for this vlog. We are back in the car again. Um, I don't really know it's a new car. It's definitely not a little bitty car that I did a couple of my first videos in. Um, the Suzuki died, overheated. Um, I checked with a few of the normal things, the easy things, uh, not the thermostat, not the water pump, radiator was not leaking anymore. So I don't know. It knocked really bad, wouldn't go anywhere. It's probably done, done, done. And I hope wherever you guys are as well. You anyway, I put it up on Facebook to try to sell for a few hundred dollars. Um, the tires weren't that old at the very least. So I can get the money to put new tires on this thing because this is used, finance used. It's only going to take us like a year and a half to pay it off, I think. Anyway, regardless, that was kind of a long intro. Um, if this, as of you... Ugh. Let's try that again. <laughs> As you may have noticed, I put up a few gaming videos. Um, I know lots of people do them as well as, if not exclusively. Um, it's something I do do a lot in my spare time. Oh, look at that sun flare. Anyway, um, so that's why I don't mind adding them because I do play them. So that is part of me and what I do when I'm not working. Uh, but hardly anyone has seen them. I don't have that many subscribers, so not that many people watch my videos right now. Anyway, but comparatively, no one's really watched them. So if no one likes them, I can quit putting them up. Um, I don't know, right now I'm just playing and questing for my own game rather than to put up on the vlog. So anyway, um, I just want to play catch up and say hi and I'm still here. It's been a couple of days since I've actually spoken. Um, I still have an old Japan box I never did. I never did the June one and I still need to do the July one. I didn't get any other subscriptions because with the car breaking down and kind of unnecessary at the time. Uh, and I'm still saving up to tag this thing. Uh, way too much money in taxes for a used car. But that's neither here nor there.
from the antique white to work. I've been wanting to buy some furniture from Walmart um, that kind of reminds me of Driftwood, but I don't know, kind of expensive. They did just have a coffee table and like a, a desk, which I was going to use for a front end, a front door table, but now they have shelves and a dresser. Not that I would use either of those in the living room, but I just don't know if it would be cheaper to try to match that color. It's kind of a gray, but not a gray. Kind of a pecan with a touch of black. I don't know. I think if I started mixing things in varnishes, I'd come up with something weird. So I think I'm just going to go with the antique white. It'll look very whitewashed, but also kind of worn at the same time. We shall see. So I'm going to go home today and I'd like to say that I'm going to sand down the end table. Um, maybe because I've recorded this, it might keep me from being lazy and just going home and playing WoW until I have to pick up Charlie. Although I'm still pretty excited. I'm only one level into the new expansion pack. Uh, but we shall see. Maybe I'll sand, sand the top enough to pique my interest and uh, get some for the video and then still have a couple of hours to play my game. I don't know. Um, it's the only day I have off this week. I volunteered to work for my manager on Wednesday or Sunday, so she wouldn't have to close and then turn around and open. Because uh, that was nice of me, and because I really need the hours. Because the assistant manager at my store removed, quit, and then got her job back. Only wants to open, and that's what I was hired to do. And I'm not giving up all my hours if I can help it. Although I've already lost about ten a week. It's killing me. And now I'm rambling. I don't know what I was talking about. And I'm sorry I keep watching the road instead of looking to the camera. Probably the safest option. But uh, we're already at seven minutes. I might as well do the ten minute challenge at this rate if my phone can hold a video that size. Um, so yeah, I guess comment down below whether or not you want to see any more gaming videos. Um, or more. I don't know. I may still do at least one a week just to have other options than watching me senselessly talk to the camera and start projects I'll never finish. Um, but anyway, uh, wrecking my brain for, God, the sky is beautiful. Maybe I can turn this camera around and let you guys see my, my view. Don't think I can do it while it's recording though. Hang on. Evidently, I cannot. Well, that sucks. I suppose I can hit stop instead of pause and keep recording. I'll be back. I know, this is probably kind of boring. I've recorded the road before, especially the road to the house. Actually, I think I recorded that and put it on Facebook. Did I put it on YouTube? I don't remember. I have to go check. Um, if not, I wouldn't mind putting it up. Oh, it's very loud and noisy on the dirt road. I don't even know if this is recording okay. Last time I recorded it, my uncle's car when I was working at McDonald's, um, it kept having this awful ticking, clicking sound. Uh, this huge Chevy Blazer. Yes, Blazer. Um, whoever bought this originally in 99 got it fully loaded. I mean, it has electric everything. Um, the seats are great. Little captain's chairs. It's got push button four wheel drive. I don't even have to put it in neutral and change it. And even though Suzuki was an automatic, I still had to use the the manual gear shift to put it into 4x4. This one I just keep on driving 10, 15, 20 miles an hour and just push the button and bam, four wheel drive. So this is a pretty smooth ride. I, I like to hope that it's recording relatively smoothly. Um, just shimmies a bit about around 70, which is why I need four new tires. And with winter coming, I'm going to get the same brand I got last year because that's the first time we've had a car where we've gone about eight months on new tires and not had to change any of them. I did have to plug one about a month ago. I probably ran over something right after they graded the road. I don't know. Whenever they chop up that limestone and, and 
in sandstone and lay it down, it's like a little minefield of pointy, sharp, bass rocks. So I like the fact when they grade the road, but then I hate it. I'd almost rather do it with the potholes and the bumpiness than worried about my tires all the time. And it looks like we are coasting into town. That was pretty good timing. You guys can see what Lead Hill looks like. Not that there's much to see. There's regular Lead Hill. We're creeping up on. It lasts all of about a mile. As you just saw, population 271. We technically live in South Lead Hill, which has a population, the sign says, of 102. Including the three of us is now 105. Supposedly the town split up 30, 40, 50 some odd years ago. They wanted to dam off the lake or something. I guess all the houses used to be down over there to the left where the lake is. And they did something to where it was going to change the landscape. And so the rest of the town moved up here on the hill. The people that didn't want to move stayed down there. And it has now become South Lead Hill. I've learned since we moved here that I, I guess the people that live in South Lead Hill are like the red-headed stepchildren of Lead Hill and nobody likes them much and because they were like the, I don't know, it's kind of like a big weird feud, family feud with my town. Not that it really means anything, I just heard talk that Maybe they didn't want to change, blah, blah, blah. But anyway, this is most of Lead Hill by the time I get to Dollar General, uh, which is where I just stopped for some Dr. Pepper and some other things for the house. That's pretty much the end of town. And I've talked another four minutes, so I should probably let y'all go. I decide to play with the table. I will record that and add it to this. If not, then this is probably the end of this very crazy long catch-up video. And I will see y'all.